Man, the draft is totally challenging ka agad. <laughs> I was expecting with a simple Atlas, no? Pero syempre, may Esmeralda naman. We'd be, we'd be seeing simple Valier picks, may PNK picks, no? But this time outright, nagkaroon na kaagad tayo ng back siya. A more, a more, hindi, hindi, I mean, they, they take, they're rising. They're rising. Pero I didn't expect them to be quickly pick dito sa ating mismong regular season. And uh, it is gonna be very exciting between these two teams. You know, we are already into the game. But I think let's take time, no? What what would be your vote be? Ano, ano mag- saan malalagay ang bottom mo, paring Rob, uh, with these two compositions? With this composition, if Onyx PH could be able to pull off this uh, first five minutes, I would go for Onyx PH on game number one, Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Onyx? For the main reason of rotation itself. Wise could be able to deal so much damage, mabilis sila makakaikot. Kung may Venus on the Cyclops, ito, uh, hindi, I, I think it's been seeing a lot of uh, pick ito, madikadalasan na siyang napipick din talaga ngayon. At yung damage ng isang Cyclops, sobrang sakit. Ah, I, I, I see. And uh, although there is the Hayabusa, no? although there is the Hayabusa, I cannot but feel that parang okay lang yung Cyclops eh. It's the Cyclops that's really targeting the Hayabusa and not really the other way around, no? Despite Hayabusa being an assassin. So, ako din, siguro I'll go with your vote then. Mm -hmm. Now, I would be uh, buying for Onyx PH kasi distansya lang kailangan mo dito eh, sa Cyclops eh, di ba? Yep, definitely. Pag nabitaan mo yung ulti, bitaw ulti ka lang, okay ka na eh. Mm -hmm. uh, proper timing. Kung baga, ano eh, pagka nauna, naunahan ka ng, uh, ng ulti ka agad dito ng isang Cyclops, sobrang bilis mo ma-burst down. Okay, yeah, uh, this, specifically, nandito pa si Wise with its Roger. Tsaka so, kung titignan yeah. mo, ang bilis sobra. Ang bilis na lang makakapag-rotate just for the, uh, for the mage support na isang Cyclops. As Cyclops, no? Planets attack plus even the innate damage to minions dito ni Roger, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ang bilis na nung clear nung 3-man uh, comp na to. So for the point that few has been rotating then no on scouting mm -hmm. on scouting and getting vision at least against Onic PH but overall the the approach ng dalawang teams natin dito has been really safe no safe and pass mm -hmm. no totoo totoo safe and pass talaga dito pero yun na nga andito na sila sa so top lane tingnan mo no no pag wala nila ng crab doon sa top luckily dito Brain Sport ang ganda na pick nila for the Farsa yeah well they've been dancing around naman for that part and uh Feeling ko ang maganda sa laro to. They're keeping their distance from each other, no? Mm -hmm. Maximize ano? the distance from each other. Yes. Uh, I think for the first five minutes ito pairing shit. Ang mangyayari dito is kung sino, o baga paunahan mag, mag level 4, paunahan kung sino yung magiging reactor dito mm -hmm. sa both of these teams. Kung sino yung mas magre-react, yeah. possibly yun yung may iwan sa rotation. Big question now. Ribo, burning is ultimate na lang to make an escape there. But from the looks of it, even yung mga attacks nga hindi sinasanto ng isa't isa. Let's go to the Gillette instant replay on that one. Um, actually, that was the first pick, no? And nakapaglakad naman si Jay dito. Pero that was good cut then mula kay, uh, para kay Card Z. I cannot but feel na sana nakapagbitaw yung Cyclops yata doon ng ult. And now we are seeing the Cyclops ult here, ha? Nako, mm -hmm. mga kaibigan, they are advancing through that one. There's gonna be the thought naman mula kay Ribo, pero I think that should be it. Oy, de, baka ni Pew dito, tinamahan mm -hmm. naman si Delar, he is down kill range na mapunit si Omai Venus dito just to dish up an answer for the damage na binubuga ng mga taga blend esports only shadow kill 3 activated as well oh my B oh my G hindi yun actually ang mamamaalam ay ang B for the back siya at kuha na pati yung purple buff dito ng Onyx P8 sabi ang ganda na naging rotation doon ng blend esports left alone flap PC uh, disrupting everyone from the side of Onyx PH. Kumbaga, si oh my Venus, hindi, hindi siya baka move forward, hindi siya mas makatulog. It's all because, hindi, oh my, sobrang ginugulo sila ni Flap TC with its dragon form. Ah, uh, uh, now napapanish yung inakala natin parang magandang uh, mm -hmm. Cyclops pick dito. But I cannot, but feel hindi lang din yung disruption ni Flap TC eh. Pati yung aggression din yata, no, ni Futol, no? Oo, oh, oh, totoo. Uh, parang napaka-high impact din. But, if ever, that trend, no, now that we are getting disproven here by Brian Esports, yung, yung strength ng composition nila, do, do, do you still think na, ano, parang siguro simula pa lang to, and there are still some strong points sa side ng Onyx? Uh, yeah, definitely. May strong points sila dito. It, I think, pagka napansin nila dito that they could be able to go with few, kung baga mapasok siya dito, like for example, like the Kalid, kasi hindi pa natin nakikita into action itong hero talaga ito, just ngayon pa lang. Uh -huh. Well, they're, they're going for the Diamond Dilar, pero alam natin, under turret, not to mention it's a Kalid. May, may innate alo din eh. May, may innate survivability din yung Kalid eh. Uh -huh. At maganda-ganda rin yung defensive stats niya. Kaya nga parang, ano eh, dahan-dahan umaakit na to sa tiering ng mga heroes natin, especially for that uh, side lanes. But look at that. I cannot but feel, Rob, na nararamdaman na ng, ano, ng Onyx that they cannot easily just go in and face this 
heavy millicops ngayon ng ng brand no mm-hmm. totoo totoo yan kumpaka ang ang the, the squishy hero lang definitely for brand esports na possible nilang mapasok was like fuel well, card pc yes yeah, squishy siya pero of course the mobility is there ang surprising hindi kayang isoak up ng kalid yung damage no yeah, was heavy. Well, we got two members here. Maybe going for the casualty, pero hindi. Yung flank ka agad doon yung oh my bilis. Ang ganda nung pasok ni Carl Zidon. The placement of the shadow to the Ogi. Shadow kill gets the kill para kay V. At sunod pa para kay J. Makunat naman si J dito. Lastin now was able to cyclone out, pero hindi. Iyak no bilang bumate. Hindi. May tune po pa rin talaga si Lastin dito. And good guess doon, Tol, no? Na, we got the show talaga on the main support in the hands here of Lastin. And because of that, because of that very utilizable fighter position, feeling ko hindi nabibigyan talaga din ng freedom si Iyok, Iyak no dito, which is designed to be a heavy counter for these melee heroes, no? Totoo, totoo yun. Kung baga, ano eh, na-show out na kagad siya dun sa mismong lane niya sa top lane, then nawala na dito ng uh, magiging rotation. Ito ngayon ang magiging mahirap for the side of Onyx PN. Okay. Kasi medyo umiliit na agad yung mapa nila for the first uh-huh. five minutes. It's something na... Dapat doon nagsasign ng isang Roger. Ano ba yung heavy consequences kapag kunyari ganito yung sitwasyon, maliit na yung mapa? Ah, uh, medyo nag uh, parang you were actually getting force na pag-move out sa isang lane. Like for example, what they're doing right now on the top lane, they're really forcing ito na makuha tong turret dito sa taas. It looks like, no? They they, they are totally forcing kasi ngayon mapapansin ko yung Onyx nagsasama-sama na, no? Pero sige, bantayan natin ha. Feathered Air Strike. Maximum range talaga kay Few. Hindi rin basta lumalapit. Lasty, very confident to go in. Parang ginagawa niya yung Grack Classic mula Season 3. Yung playstyle dito ni Lasty. Pero binati siya ni Dilar. Goes in for Kalzi. Ogi Shadow Kill. Wala na siyang pakik. Kahit ilan ang tamaan dyan. Kasi may dragon naman na lalamang. There goes a Flapsy. The inner draft, ladies and gentlemen. May iwan pa. Doon naman sa kabila. Si parang Dilar. Alux the mega kill for Few. And Iaknu is nowhere to be found. Jay just backing him out. Tapos lalapit pa yung brand sa any pressure na ini-establish dito ni Iaknu. Men, feeling mo, established na yung lead, no, Rob? No, oh, definitely. The lead is around 6,000. Grabe yung pina... I mean, nag-start like, yun doon sa Feathered Airstrike ni Pew, clearing the minion wave. Then right after, Flat PC came with his ultimate. Even the Hayabusa. Talagang oh. inultimate na na kahit lima pa silang nandun yung Onyx. Hmm. It looks like AOE damage, no? Multi-target damage is the main headline ng laro natin dito. This is an under turret fight. This is under turret fight. And they're totally losing it. They're gonna be losing their inner, inner mid lane turret. We're speaking of Onyx PH here. At mong hindi lang nalilit yung mapa. Dapat pressure na rin sila, no? Mm-hmm. Ma- uh, ma- ma- paring rub. Totoo, totoo. They're actually getting run down dito. Ta sobrang na zone out sila. Just by the ultimate ka agad lang with you. Yeah, it was heavy. Now let's see here, Rebo taking a lot of damage. Mm. Oh my Venus, yung planet's attack talaga, iba pa yung na-target. Minion wave, ladies and gentlemen, and there goes Katsin na naman muli. Tapos sakto yung pamipa dito kaagad ni Lasty. Way of the Dragon, unlocks the mega kill na maalam na si DJ Khalid doon. Double kill, meron pa si Mata. Hindi na nga, pinamuklat na lang para mawala. And that's it, that's a 3-4 non-exchange. The trades here for kills are getting heavier and heavier against Onyx PH. Oh, oh. Dito, well, this is gonna be a, a Hail Mary play na lang talaga yung kailangan dito ng, ng Onyx PH in this position. Kasi uh, ang mangyayari dito, maki-clear out na lahat sila and there's no way na makakalabas ngayon yung trio nila dito unless they go uh, uh, as a team, literally. Kaso yeah. ngayon, so yung minion wave clear din, even ng Bren Esports, sobrang bilis. Nakayang-kaya nilang tanggalin na lahat ng outer turrets dito, which is what, isa na lang yung natitira dito for Onyx PH. And, uh... Feeling ko, Rob, no? Ma- makikita mo sa larong to, now I understand bakit ang aga nung pili sa Parsa, no? Mm-hmm. Totoo. Ang ano ni Few, napaka-agresibo ka agad ni Few doon sa Parsa and I cannot but think, well, it's it's obvious here in this game. They really know how to play around the pressure that Parsa establishes. Mm-hmm. Diba? At hindi na ako magtataka if Parsa will be part of the band mamaya ng Onyx PH. Sobra yung, I mean, this hero alone is zoning them out. Alone, kung pag ano eh, pag nag-feather airstrike si Few, maiipit sa isang position ng Onyx PH, that's where Flap PC will come with the Dragon form. Now, so, tuloy-tuloy na from there. Indeed, indeed, Rob. Um, actually, piling ko nga, no, parang step-by-step step yung advances dito ng Bren. Step 1, ult ni Parsa. Mm-hmm. Diba? Kung may mabawasan na konti, may e-entrada pa. It would be of the Yuzong. It would be of the Cho. Tapos last round si Fla- ano last round si Card Z, no? Siya yung yeah. parang step three for mm-hmm. for this fight. So uh, this is I think the the way how this uh, composition is played as shown to us by uh, Bren Esports. But you know uh, Onyx is on its classic. They're grouping up, maybe willing to take fights and pick ups. Are you considering any comeback capacity dito para sa Onyx PH Rob? 
seeing any power spike coming from them kasi pa, siguro ano uh, we could be able to see like a play na hindi sila agad I mean ma, ma soak up like what I've said kanina hinold ni Delar yung damage ng ultimate ni Carl TZ with the Hayabusa possibly hmm. ma-hold ng is ni Delar yung damage na ibibigay dun sa first initial burst na ah. ibibigay ng Ben possibly pag nangyari yun pwede dito nakapag-comeback dito sila wise they still have Iyaklo as a sustain as, as well oh my Venus can still have a damage feeling ko na rin kung individual matchup pero tingnan natin ha the Lord is being made used to the maximum dito ng mga member ng Bren Esports lumipat na ng base doon yung Yuzong natin may mega kill pat inuwi niya na lang at binulsa at inarbor si oh my Venus may minion pa on to the mid lane inhibitor tapos destroyed na rin yon top lane inhibitor turret ang susunod habang nasa may gadget na lang lulunod ng mga skills na manggagaling mula kay Phil dito against the members of Onyx PH. Wise is there. The top lane inhibitor is not yet destroyed, but doesn't matter. They're gonna be focusing onto the base itself. Minion wave comes in. Iyakno went for the dive. Card C will have the Ogi Shadow out. No? I think Quad Shadow out. The Largets traded. Ogi Shadow ilang ginawa dito ni Card C. And they went for the re-engage. Maximum uptime here for Bren Esports in fights. This is the second team fight call that they are taking. Yes, def. Kung bagay na sustain nila yon, and even just ah the use of lang yung namatay and totally annihilated the rest of Onyx PH and getting at least two tier three turrets. Now, for any winning condition, dito kung iisipin mo no, it's grabe. Look at that fuse win standing everyone from the side of Onyx. I guess parishing this might be it. Yeah, I mean those those ano those three seasons for Brand Esports becoming finalists, you know. It's not accounted for nothing. They're really, really strong. At nang turo ng leksyon ngayon ng Brand Esports against the younger generation. Congratulations to Brand Esports. They're taking the game one of the series against Onyx PH. Grabe, high level. Oh, oh, grabe. I think there was no turrets been taken.